Hi, welcome to this video on Studio Live, a client for the Casper uh, CG application. In this video, I'm going to give you a really quick guided tour of uh, Studio Live, its key features, uh, primarily focusing on a normal operator. I've divided the uh, user profile into two types of users. One is a operator who's operating a show in a live environment, and the second would be someone that's responsible for configuring the show and setting it up for operation. So this is the main screen here we see. We can see some thumbnails of the shows that we have on the schedule. And shows are made up of scenes. So here's a list of, sheen, a list of scenes in the show, like so. And scenes, in turn, are made up of actions. So here is a list of actions that we um, can put in or out in the scene. And actions are simply a sequence of Casper commands that are run together. Over on the right hand side here we have a, a live preview window. We have two previews. That's actually configurable. You can have as many as you like or uh, disable them completely. So we can turn that on there. There we go. So here I'm I'm running two previews. This this one's using the um, route producer, the route command. So this is split into four panels. So we can use these in and out buttons here to bring uh, these actions in or out. So we can take that out and we see it go away. There's a little bit of latency on the preview. Uh, it's um, less than a second. Like so. And bring in a background like so. Uh, we can run a video over the top like so. Uh, we can record the file down here. All of these actions, by the way, are quite configurable. We can mute the, uh, the audio is currently coming through the preview, uh, not from the live Casper. So we can mute that there quite easily, like so. Right. OK, we'll take these out now. And we can um, uh, stop the previews by clicking the stop button here. Th this number here is the channel that we're choosing to preview. OK, the real strength of uh, this client is in its handling of data. Um, so the data is for the templates. So here we can see in this scene that we have three templates available. We've got a title template and two lower third templates. One's called lower third and one we've used for next up. So we can change this data here and call it uh, some, some show and we can refresh it with that like so. And there we go. Uh, and if we want to save that, because that's really what we want it to be for next time, we just click the Save button. And the data is held with the scene, so you can use the same template um, description, the same template action, but the data is stored with the scene, so that uh, in a different scene, for example, we can go to Scene 2, um, where we have the same setup, but we can see that, well, this is now Scene 2. So we go, oh, okay, we want to bring in the title for scene two, like so, um, or the lower third and so on. Uh, if we switch back to scene one, I can bring that in, and as we can see, the data is quite different. <coughs> and of course, there's this little bar here, combo box here, for uh, switching between the scenes. That's good. And as I said earlier, scenes are made up of actions. Uh, actions are defined per show. But we can um, easily drag these around. I'll make that a little bit wider. Maybe it'll. There we go. Makes it easier to see. Um, so these are the actions that are in the scene. So if we go here, we see we've only got a relatively few actions in the scene. Um, and we can see all the actions that are available in the show. Uh, so we can bring them uh, in and out. So for example, we can uh, bring. 
these two in like so and we can see that they're now in the show like so okay so how do we set this lot up that's a good question uh, actions um, are defined per show so this is the show page and here's the list of actions like so um, these are all configurable there's nothing hard coded in this sense here at all uh, you can add infinitely to this list or change it to whatever you like all from the user interface here uh, and I'll go through in detail how to do that in the next video um, you'll notice these uh, th thumbnails here I'll just quickly show you how that um, that's done or configured so say we go into the scene um, we're looking at some show we're going to say oh well, this is really big buck bunny so we'll take that out take out the title we'll run big buck big buck bunny like so and we'll this camera uh, does a screenshot of whatever is currently on the channel so we'll just wait for the credits and then we'll screenshot those well actually the bird looks good there we go so now we've screenshotted that and we can add it to the scene or add it to the show either or like so we can actually rename it here if we wish so we'll add that to the show as well and we save that and if we go back here uh, we can see that we've updated our thumbnail like so and in fact in the shows there we go we've got our new thumbnail like so okay in the next in the next um, YouTube video that I'll make I'll go through in detail how to configure studio live and how to set it up for a show starting from scratch thanks for watching